where the Congress Neta B.K. Harit Prasad has tweeted out an apology for a statement he made earlier. I'll read out the apology first, then we'll go to the statement itself. He said there is great work and great respect for women and sex workers who live with self-respect and he said the reference to sex workers in my speech is being misconstrued and is creating unnecessary controversy. I am sorry if my words, which are not malicious, have offended the sex worker community. Remember, uh, he had just a few days ago made a remark. Uh, he's the leader of opposition in the Karnataka Legislative Council and he'd compared Minister Anand Singh, who quit the Congress in 2019, to a prostitute for defecting within a year. His exact comment uh, I'll share with you in just a second. But but they were comments that referred to uh, to prostitutes and to sex workers. Let's go over to my colleague uh, Harish for more details on this entire story. Harish, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Harish, very quickly, could you walk us through what BK Hariprasad had originally said? Then can you walk us through the controversy after and the fact that we are now getting this apology from him? Well, BK Hariprasad in one of the Congress programs had said that uh, people who sell their body are called prostitutes. What do we call the 17 turncoat MLAs who sold everything, including their soul, and joined the BJP? Remember, 17 MLAs, uh, 15 from uh, the BJP and two from the JDS, sorry, 15 from the Congress and two from the JDS had quit the party in 2019 and had brought down the erstwhile uh, JDS Congress government to help the BJP to form the government. Most of them are ministers in this existing government. And soon after this comment, you had uh, various turncoat MLAs, including B.C. Patil, who is a minister now in this uh, cabinet, came out and said, well, B.K. Hari Prasad has never won an election. We've been elected by people even after we quit the party and joined the BJP. It's, in fact, uh, B.K. Hari Prasad, who's always either got nominated to the Rajya Sabha or to the upper house in the Karnataka legislature. And uh, he's someone who believes in backdoor entry so should we call him a pimp now? This entire discourse had uh, left a bad taste, uh, especially in Karnataka where citizens generally do not uh, appreciate this kind of a political discourse. And we've seen this hitting a new low, heading towards the election. And now today, BK Prasad coming out and saying that he has great regard to people who work hard, including prostitutes, to make uh, their life. And uh, he has great respect for them. And his statement has been taken out of context it has been misconstrued, and if anybody is hurt, then he would like to apologize. So, in a way, Bikhari Prasad, understanding that more than targeting the turncoat MLAs, uh, it was, in a way, belittling and also uh, very derogatory, especially for women uh, who are involved in sex work, to ensure that they can ma make uh, a living out of it. Of course, Arish, I just want to ask you, uh, what do your internal sources tell you in the hours since that comment was made, uh, was he perhaps approached by more senior Congress leaders to create that apology? Well, more than the senior, con senior Congress leaders, in, in the last uh, perhaps a day or so, we've seen a lot of reaction coming in where people have criticized him, saying that he is a member of the upper house. Remember, uh, upper house is known as uh, a, a space that has uh, a lot of people who are supposed to be uh, thinkers, uh, well-read, and all these people, upper house is meant for that. And they said, when BK Hari Prasad has been nominated for that, he's the leader of opposition in the upper house. This is a certain standard expected from him. And him to go out and in a public uh, rally talk on these lines was uh, something that wasn't acceptable at all. And this okay. was a comment that came in from across the section of society. And today, BK Hari Prasad perhaps getting into a damage control mode. Arish, thank you for all of those details. We are now